Welcome to the Career Change Podcast, where you'll discover the frank and practical advice and resources that are already proven to work in the real world when it comes to changing careers or figuring out what business is right for you when you are a smart but likely also stuck, overwhelmed or overthinking person in your mid-30s, your 40s, your mid-50s. I'm your host, Ricky Hansen, a career change advisor, entrepreneur and former corporate HR professional with over 15 years experience of helping thousands of people just like you identify identify or create careers or businesses that are both meaningful and future-proof. Welcome home. Let's talk about how you can create a healthy and empowering sense of urgency around making sure your career change actually happens. So this is an episode that's going to be very helpful for you if you have a tendency to keep putting your career change on hold or deferring it or you might be a little bit of a dabbler, you might find it hard to get motivating, may, to get motivated. Maybe you're on that kind of start, stop, start, stop, wheel of doom where you sort of had a stab at your career change, then something happens, you put it on hold, then you start again, then you stop again. You know, this episode will really give you the antidote to all of that if you're obviously willing to do what it takes. And I really want to talk about the importance of urgency when it comes to making your transition a reality. Why? Because for many aspiring career changers or new entrepreneurs, new business owners, it really is the missing ingredients. Like you never want to underestimate the importance of having urgency around your career change in a world of a million distractions, you know, in a world that's constantly changing and where other people's agendas are really trying to impose themselves on yours or overimpose yourself on yours. So it's so important that you repeatedly come right back to yourself and to what truly matters to you. I also want to say something else up front. You know, I like contextualizing what we're talking about. It's important here that we differentiate between what I'm talking about here, which is a healthy, empowering sense of urgency that's meaningful because you have defined it and you have chosen it up front. That's what we're talking about. What we're not talking about here, what we're not talking about here and what we want to differentiate it from is that kind of unhealthy, exhausting sense of hurry where you are in a hurry with everything. You know, everything feels like life and death. You know, pretty much the equivalent of high functioning anxiety. If you've ever had that, you know it's not nice. That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about a healthy and empowering sense of urgency, a meaningful, empowering, grounded sense of urgency. And we're talking about getting real about the fact that your life, my friend, my dear listener, is ending one minute at a time and that you don't have unlimited time left to change careers or to start that business you really want to start. And that the world and everyone else's agenda will try to conspire to get you to focus on creating their dreams instead, on, you know, worrying about their problems, getting distracted. I really want you to have this mortal awareness of just how short life is and that you must be in charge and use your time wisely rather than just keep waiting for the right time or when everything will line up. Let's start with a question. If I were to ask you on a scale of one to five, with one being the least urgent and five being the most urgent, how urgent is it for you to change career? How would you honestly rate yourself on that scale? And what would you base that answer on? That's actually one of the questions I ask when people apply for my program. You know, how how urgent is it for you to do this? Because if it's not an urgency for you, if it's not urgent, then no wonder you're not having results. Nobody can help you if it's not urgent for you, right? But most people don't even think about this. It is vital that you think about it. And I'll help you, show you how to create the urgency in this podcast, but just do a, in this episode, but just do a little bit of a check-in on a scale of one to five, with one being the least urgent and five being the most urgent. Where do you currently sit on that scale if I were to look at your behavior on a day-to-day basis? Hmm? The lower you said, the more you need this episode. And the more of a chance, the lower you are, the more of a chance there is. You're probably really stuck and frustrated right now, okay? I find it so mind-boggling. Also to do with the, the whole motivation question. You know, people are hoping 
to somehow find motivation, but all they're kind of doing is dabbling or starting or stopping and starting or stopping. No wonder you might not feel terribly motivated. What you really need to do instead is to create a real sense of urgency up front instead and a time frame, right? And a goal to reach. So you can stop defaulting to dabbling because it seems easier or less scary. Creating a healthy sense of urgency around your career transition is literally the opposite of dabbling and faffing and someday, you know, you want to create this healthy sense of urgency to watch your future, to watch that career change, to watch that future self that you want to be. Because if you don't, what's the default going to be? It's going to be procrastination. If you don't have a clear priority, you don't have a clear urgency, how do you even expect to feel motivated? I, I always laugh when I see people, oh, can you give me some motivational hacks? It's like, no, nah, mate. Let's dig a lot deeper. Let me share three points to how you can start creating this healthy sense of urgency for yourself when it comes to your career change. Number one, and I'll go through them step by step, but I want to give you all three up front, okay? Because I know my listeners tend to be the curious kind. So number one is to stop faffing about. Decide what matters most and why it's urgent. Number two, Use your present to create a future you actually want. And number three, never underestimate the consequences of having no urgency. There are consequences, okay? So let's go through all three step by step. So point number one is stop faffing about, decide what matters most and why it's urgent. So I remember, and you might know this about me, Um, Back when I worked in corporate, I used to work in human resources uh, for American investment banks in London. And I remember back when I worked there, that was back in the last century and the beginning of the century. The big buzzword back then was change management. We can kind of laugh at that now, right? But it was was a real big thing in HR, change management. And I remember there were all these geeky looking HR gurus, and they tended to be white middle-aged men. And for some reason, they most of them had glasses and they were all sprouting their theories. And there's one of them that I still remember to this day, because I still find one of the points in these theories are so relevant to this work. And he's called John Cotter. And he had this eight steps to change management. Now, it's not exactly exciting toilet reading. So don't worry about looking up. I'll share the, what, this point here. And what was interesting about this guy is that he had specialized in change management and been involved in some of the biggest projects in the world around it. And he'd overseen and looked at data from a ton of projects. And what he thought, and the reason why he came up with the theory, what he saw was the sad thing was that most business change projects, they didn't succeed. But what was interesting and was that the small number of business change projects, change projects that did succeed. One of the key things that they all had in common, he discovered, was that they had all created a sense of urgency around the project, around the change project. And that urgency was created from the very beginning and then used as a touchstone throughout. They were very, very clear about the opportunity ahead of them or what I call the problem to be solved. And they also had this real, they knew that it was important. They acted immediately and with urgency. And what I can tell you, bringing you back to the present, what I can tell you after having helped and come across a ton of people and having successfully helped a lot of them successfully change careers or start their own business since 2005, is that the same point holds true when it comes to career change, when it comes to change for humans, for individual. Having a strong sense of urgency and having that up front is indeed one thing that successful career change has having common. I've noticed that with all of my clients who've changed career successfully. They have that gut level determination that comes from having the opportunity to and grabbing that opportunity to create much more meaningful and engaging work and deciding and acknowledging early on, right away, the importance of acting immediately and to keep prioritizing and having this sense of urgency around the career change again and again and again when things happen. 
And you can create this. This was not necessarily something they had. This was something they created and decided up front was going to be important. It was going to be an urgency around it. I've helped clients create it. I can help you do that too. And think about it. This sense of urgency is literally the opposite of how most people behave when it comes to their career change, right? I've come across so many people who never make it past what I call the dabbling stage. You know, they might spend a little bit of time window shopping here or there. Or maybe they spend a few weekends reading some out-of-date, fluffy self-development books about finding their passion, or maybe they're ogling lifestyle influencers on Instagram, or you know, spending a little bit of time here, writing down some ideas over there, but it's scattered. It's really dabbling, right? Or maybe they, they try to get serious about it, but then something happens at work or in their life, or then there's that new Brit or the new Vikings Netflix series, or there's the World Cup, or whatever else it is that is more important or more, you know, more exciting. And therefore, their career change kind of glides in the background because in the background, in the dabbling sort of sense, it kind of feels more safer to just have a peek, right, rather than to commit. Now, those people, and if that's you, if you can relate, it's likely because you have no urgency whatsoever around your career change. And the opposite of urgency is complacency or faffing about. And that accounts for most cases of people being stuck. If you don't have urgency around your career change, you will have very little defense or very little reason as to why you should not let other people dictate your agenda as to how you spend your time outside of work, right? Or why whatever happens in the world should make you question everything every time there's a Twitter update or a newscast, Right? So if you would like to change that, my friend, if you would like to create urgency around your career change, then listen in. Let's talk about point number one. You have to stop faffing about. Decide what matters most and why it's urgent. Let's face it, your faffing about probably hasn't brought you any results so far, so nor will it in the future. And also it's exhausting to faff about, right? So stop faffing about. That's a decision you really need to make and you likely need to make it again and again. And then secondly, you need to decide what matters most and why it's urgent. Be really, and also be really, really honest. Maybe it isn't your career change that is most important to you. But if it is, or you want it to be, then it is absolutely vital that you start prioritizing it that you start prioritizing figuring out what's next for you, that you decide that for the next, let's say, year or whatever it's going to take you, that your career change is the most important thing in your life. It's your number one priority. Now, you can still do other things, but your career change comes first. Of course, you still need to take care of things like your family, money, work, but outside of that, your career change comes first. You have an orientation towards your future career and what therefore needs doing in the now. Let me say that again. You have a real future orientation. You have an orientation towards your future career. So you can start working back and think about what really needs doing right now. Why is it urgent? And here's an important point I want to make. You don't, like, you likely don't know yet what you want to do. That's probably why you're listening. But you don't actually need to know yet exactly what you want to do, what that career is or what that business is, in order to prioritize it. You just need to decide what is the problem that I want to solve and then get urgency around it starting now. And for most people, figuring out what their best options are is really what they should be focused on. Here's the thing, it's very normal not to know what you want when you start your career change. So what you just want to make the most important thing for you right now is figuring out what it is you want to do. What are your best options? That's pretty much what all my programs is about, right? It's like figuring out your what. What is it you want to do? What are your best options? That should be where you should get a real urgency around, that you can prioritize. That is a clear problem that you want to solve, okay? So don't be like, oh, but I, I cannot really prioritize because I don't know what, you, what I want. No, mate, you just prioritize figuring out what you want. That is what your career change is all about, okay? So don't make that an excuse. 
get really urgent around figuring out what you want, okay? Secondly, also get really clear about why is it so important and why is it so urgent for you to figure out what you want, to change careers, right? You've got to have an urgency. Find out why is this important for you? Why is it important for you to change careers or to start your own business or to do something else? Get really clear about what is it that's not working in your work life right now and why it's dangerous for you to stay. I will give you quite a few pointers in that in in, in point number three, but you've really got to be honest with yourself. Why, why, why? Why is it that you need a career change? Why it's so urgent for you? What is it that's not working in your current life and what's the problem you're trying to solve, okay? And as we'll talk about in point three, there are consequences to staying stuck, so you likely have loads of reasons as to your why. So the goal might be that you want to change careers, but first you need to figure out you what. So just start there. But only you can decide why it's urgent. Nobody else can decide why it's urgent for you. Like people can help you keep promises to yourself. They can show you every step of the way, but you need to decide on the urgency and you need to own it. Because just think about what an incredible situation you are in right now. What's the opportunity that you have ahead of you right now? You have, if you're listening to this podcast, I want you to know that you have the opportunity to figure out what kind of work you really want to do, what you're good at, what could be engaging for you, what's meaningful for you, what feels like you, what makes you feel stronger, what's challenging, what's really, truly meaningful, what's work that matters. You have the opportunity to create work that really matters as opposed to just autopilot or, you know, dabble your way through what you're currently doing. But you really got to figure out why you want to do it now, right? You're not getting any younger. That's one reason. You're probably not getting any less energetic, any more energetic. The world is not getting easier. You know, you really want to experience creating work that matters to you. How about actually enjoying more hours of the few days we are all given in this lifetime, right? Really find your own urgency. Why is it so important for you that you want to do this now? And also set yourself a time frame. If you have no time frame, you have no urgency. So get more specific as to what your time frame going to be. You probably don't like motivation. You like urgency. What is it you want to do and why? You know, you definitely want to move away from the one towards the five. You might also want to decrease the time available for you to do this, to really get your ass in gear. Now, you don't need to be in a hurry. Hurry has no purpose. Hurry has no alignment. What you need is urgency. An urgency that you need to get this done and you need to get started and you need to get going. Urgency is a grown-up meaningful version right? Because you know that you're not getting any younger and that you don't want to waste any more time in work that you do not enjoy. So stop faffing about, decide what matters most and why it's urgent to you. Okay, let's move into point number two. Use your present to create a future you actually want. Now, here's what I know for sure. Your future and also your future self, is created daily and is created right now. Just think about it. And I don't mean about that. I don't mean that in any esoteric way whatsoever. I am talking careers and work here. So think about it. The job and the work situation you are in today, the one you don't enjoy, and that's probably the reason why you are listening to me, why I'm in your ear right now. (laughs) You know, that job or that work situation you don't enjoy, that is the result of something you created, right? That is a result of the action you did or didn't take over the last few years or last few months or the last few weeks. So the exact same thing counts for the future. What you do or don't do today or tomorrow or next week or the month after, the year after, and what you repeat most of the time, in addition to some external factors, very much decide the work scenario you'll be in in six months, 12 months time and for years to come or where you won't be, what won't be the new reality for you. Your future self is created daily. So let me ask you this. Do you think that being really aware 
of that fact that you are using your present to create your future? Do you think having a really acute awareness of that will help you become much more careful about what you actually focus on and what you spend your time outside of work on? And that you also, it also helps you realize the cost every time you default to faffing or to someone else's agenda or to dream scrolling or Netflixing or Pinteresting or whatever your procrastination mechanism is, right? Get really clear about this. And this is another reason why you want to create a healthy sense of urgency around getting your ass in gear and keeping your ass in gear with your career change. You want, you should want to use your present to create a future you actually want. What could be more important? Because here's the flip side. The less you care about the future, the less you care about your future career and the less time you spend thinking about it and working towards it, the less incentive you're going to have to take any action today. So if who you're going to be and what you're going to do career-wise in six months or a year or five or 10 or 20 years time is not important and urgent to you right now, then how are you ever going to feel motivated on a day-to-day basis, right? I often get to the example is that what you really do when you get serious about your career change, whether that's by yourself or you start working with someone who's an expert and can truly help you, what you're really doing is you're starting to cast hooks into the future and start to pull it towards you, right? You're getting very, very serious and you know that what you do right now is creating the future for better or for worse, right? So really what you want to start doing ASAP is to create hooks, you know, cast them into the future and pull towards you the right kind of thing that you want, all right? However, the more you care about your future self, and this is really important, I wanted to elaborate further on this, just think about it. The more you care about your future self, so to say, and the quality and meaning of that future career, the more time and urgency you are going to dedicate to your current present self and situation to make sure you consciously create a better future version one day at a time. Especially if your current one is not the one you also want your future to be like. Just think about that. You are likely right now in a profession that you don't enjoy, in a job you don't enjoy, in a work scenario you don't enjoy. You know, the longer you keep dabbling, the worse it's going to get. The, you're just going to get more and more of the same or maybe an even worse version of it, right? So you really want to do the opposite. So let me give you a really concrete non-career example we're all familiar with to illustrate what I mean here. Do you know someone, maybe even yourself, who decided they were going to get married a year from today and therefore they had a really clear goal and a really clear vision of they were going to look bloody amazing, stunning in that wedding dress or that wedding suit or whatever you decided to wear. They were going to get fit. They were going to lose those last X, Y, Z points, pounds, or kilos, they were going to stop biting the nails, whatever kind of thing. There's a clear thing. Okay, I'm getting married a year from now. I want to make sure I get as fit and healthy and good looking as possible, right? That's like a classic thing you might have fallen into as well, right? There's a clear urgency because there's a clear goal as in not this, but that. So what you do, you do what it needs to, to, you know, you do what it takes. You get your ass in gear to, and you do everything that you can to do things on a daily basis so that in one year's time you will be ready, right? Heck, this might even have been you. You might have fallen into this kind of thing as well, but you've really got results. We all know people, there's a really clear, you know, urgency, clear deadline, a very clear goal. And because it was just so important and so urgent, they made it happen, right? This is really often the thing with things like health. If you care about your future health, you're going to get, you're going to make much better decisions about it in the present, right? You have this acute awareness. Your choices today are influenced by your future self, so to say. There's a real connection. There's a real urgency. So you, what do you therefore do? Because you have something very clear you want in the future. You use your present to create a future you actually want. And I want you really to think about this, a future you actually want. If what you have right now is not what you want, and you don't do something else, you are going to create a future you do not want. That should scare you a lot more than the opposite, right? If And also, here's the great thing. If you care about your future career, you're going to get, you're going to make much, you're going to make much better decisions in the present. The quality 
of your future, as in the quality, as in how meaningful you want your work future to be. The quality of that future determines the quality of your work present, right? What you do today creates your future self. So what's so important about being future-oriented is that it will also create a much better present for you right now because you will very, very differently act in the present because you know that what you do now is what is creating the future. So just really, really think about that. The future orientation that that will give you will be the few scraps of motivations you might find. Future orientation will be the real thing that will carry you through, right? So use your present to create a future you actually want. And this is so important because let's talk about the flip side of not doing this. And that takes us to point number three, never underestimate the consequences of having no urgency, there are consequences, right? Have you ever heard your parents say that to you? There are, there will be consequences. <laughs> it's really the same thing here. There is a flip side. There are so many flip sides and downsides and consequences of having no urgency, you know, when it comes to your career change, when there are so many flip sides to not making your career change or starting that business your number one priority. And also there is a cost, there is a price that you will continually pay for staying stuck that you're probably paying already now. I want to make this very, very brief, this, this point, but I want to make it very, very succinct. Here's what I find really interesting. So often when I come across aspiring career changers or aspiring entrepreneurs, what they focus on and what keeps them stuck is they literally focus solely on their fears of getting it wrong, their fears of throwing it all away, how scary and risky it is to change careers. They totally overestimate and totally put their focus on the risks and fears of changing careers or starting that business. But meanwhile, they're totally ignoring, and in some cases not even aware of, all of the consequences of not changing, of the price and the sacrifices and the consequences, you know, all of the, 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 the price they're already paying and have been for a while because they haven't changed yet, because they're not changing. So let me give you an example of this. I mean, I, I thought about this last week because literally I was um, on a call with um, um, inside of Your Career Change Map, which is my new hybrid program that combines advanced video masterclasses and personal advice. And I was giving this new client some personal advice. And and suddenly um, she um, texted back to me. She was like, Ricky, this is exactly why I chose to work with you and join this program, because you actually mentioned that if I just stayed stuck, that would actually be more risky. Because... I would be de-skilling myself, slowly regressing, becoming for, you know more and more irrelevant in my current career, in my workplace, full stop. I would just be pretty much living a work life of autopilot, but actually I would be de-skilling myself, becoming irrelevant even in my current career. So not only would I not change career and create more meaningful work, I would also risk my current career because... I don't have any enthusiasm or any interest in it. So I'm just slowly becoming irrelevant in that too. So I'm kind of losing both. Hmm. Can you relate to that? That's an urgency, right? So by not taking action, by not changing careers, by not having this urgency around changing careers or starting that business, and at the same time, staying stuck in a career or a profession you don't enjoy that you might even hate, you're losing both you know, you should be worried because you are actually de-skilling yourself even in your current career, falling further and further behind. So not only are you not creating work, um, a work life you truly enjoy that's meaningful, you're also losing and risking your current career. You're falling further and further behind because there's no motivation there neither. You're de-skilling yourself, you're becoming irrelevant. So you're actually risking it all <laughs> by staying stuck. Imagine you don't create urgency around creating work you enjoy. What kind of future are you there for creating, right? A groundhog days of days like today or last week, whatever week you didn't enjoy, there are consequences. So what if your career change instead was something that you got extremely urgent about rather than just keep being distracted or dabbling or putting it off or starting and stopping or starting and stopping, right? What I want you to do is to decide 
what you don't want to regret not doing and in your life, in your work life? What is it you don't want to regret not doing? And then create urgency around making sure that it happens. My friend, there's a lot at stake here. Like my client was talking about, it's like, wow, yeah, that's exactly it. So let's recap. Number one, stop faffing about, decide what matters most and why it's urgent. Number two, Use your present to create a future you actually want. And number three, never underestimate the consequences of having no urgency. There is a great quote that's attributed to Mark Twain, even though it turns out it probably wasn't him who said it, but it's great anyway, where he says, 20 years from now, you'll be more disappointed by the things you didn't do than by the things you did do, right? So start deciding what you don't want to regret not doing. (laughs) and then create urgency around making sure that it happens. If you care about your future career, that career you really want, that business you really want, you're going to make better decisions in the present right now. And if you want a different career, you want to start your own business in the near future, that starts right now with urgency. So get urgent about this, okay? What I would say, because I always forget to say this, do share this episode with friends of yours who are also stuck and who really need to create this urgency and make sure you subscribe to this podcast and then come over to the careerchangepodcast.com and I'll see you there. Thank you so much for listening. Now create that urgency for yourself. Everything is at stake here. Thank you. <laughs>